showing you how to optimize your Mac properly. And um, some, I mean, you might be asking yourself, why would I want to optimize my Mac? Well, if you're like me, or people just have a lot of applications on their Mac, um, the more you add on to your Mac, so the more you have, uh, you know, complex programs like, um, you know, music making software such as Cubase, um, it starts when you install it. It's um, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, it when you install a program, it put it puts folders, you know, in 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 a certain order and as you go uh, throughout time and use that program and save files to it and just uh, use it it kinda places folders in different areas and that makes it uh, it makes uh, the hard drive or this I'm using a flash uh, solid state uh, solid state hard drive and it makes it harder for it to um, the go it has, to, it has to go longer it takes more time for it to go get the information and bring it back so imagine it's like a filing cabinet and when you put stuff out of order it's harder for it to find where it is so this will allow your Mac to be more organized and be more efficient and won't crash as much so um how the first uh, I learned this in class today. Actually, I am a, a, st a student at a uh, University of Cincinnati, and uh, it's one of my technical uh, classes. So you know, this is this is legit information. I'm not out to get you or uh, you know burn your computer, or destroy you. I'm actually here to help you. So um, how, what you first want to do is you want to turn off your Mac, and I'm not gonna do this because that that's just too too much trouble to record it. But go ahead and turn off your Mac. And once you have your Mac off, um, look at your keyboard, and you'll see the Option key. It's just on your Mac. It's next to F N and Control, and then the Control key, and then literally like the letter R, like on your keyboard, like when you type stuff, like how are you? And just R and P. So all you need is the Option key, the Command key, which are both next to your space bar, and then the R key and the P key. Now, while your Mac is off, it, you, you turn your Mac off completely, and all all that's there is just the blank screen. It's not on. You hold down the Option key, the Command key, the R key, and the P key all at the same time, and you 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 see the power button on your Mac. You hold that in, and when you hold that in, this this process takes about 30 seconds, so not that bad. When you hold that in, uh, it, it, a white screen will come up, but don't let go of the power button. Keep holding those down. And that white screen will come up for a little bit, and it will go away, and then come back. Keep keep holding it, in. it will do that three times. And what's that? What what is that called? It's um, it's Dean um, uh, my professor. I forget what name he called it, but it's um, a, it's resetting uh the PRAM. That's what he said. So this resets the PRAM. So what you do is you hold down the Option Command. R and P key on your keyboard all at the same time while your Mac is off. Hold in the power button and let that do that three times. And you know while you're doing, just just keep it on there. Trust me, it will do it three times. And once it does three times, you can let go all the buttons, and then your Mac will start up normally. You'll enter the login. And once you log in, don't do anything. You can, but this is just more utility. So you go to Finder, and then once you have Finder up, go to Applications. Scroll down until you are up until you see Utilities click on utilities and then click on disk utility and once you have disk utility up you're going to want to select uh, this hard drive so maybe you have external hard drives plugged in but you want to select the hard drive that's internal so usually it's called Macintosh HD or, or, or internal uh, hard drive or whatever so once you go to that go to the first aid page and then you see verify disk permission, repair disk permission, and verify disk. You want to click on verify disk permission. I've already done it today. And it, this is a process that can take anywhere from like 3 minutes to 20 minutes. So if you're in a hurry, don't. This is not the time to do it. This is just something to optimize your Mac. Once you do that, it will come up and it will say, you, know, you can click on it, but I've already, I've already done it today. Um, so I'm not going to do it. Um, you verify disk permission, and once you do that, that's going to take those folders that are scattered out there, and it's going to bring it back in a way so that your Macintosh can, it's just kind of a pattern, it's kind of a common pattern that it recognizes and it will work more efficiently. And then once you verify disk permission, you're going to click on uh, repair disk permission right here. And once you do those two steps, then you've optimized your Mac properly and th I mean there's, there's other ways you could do it but that's the main thing that my uh, professor was talking about and uh, some also maybe some uh, helpful tips maybe you have a program that's crashing on your Mac or you're having troubles real simple if you ever use a PC uh, you know the thing called control delete I actually did not know this until he told me but what you go on your Mac is you hold down option command escape and this will come up a force quit application 
Now, Finder is always open. Finder is like, uh, it's just it's just part of the operating system. It's always running. So right now I'm using QuickTime to actually capture this movie. So I don't want to do that right now. But say like um, a program was about to you know force close my cause my Mac to crash. You could actually just close it from here. Or say like your your Mac is just acting really weird or whatnot. You can hold down Option Command Escape and this will pop up. And then you see Finder. You just relaunch it. Uh, hopefully this won't mess up the stream. But um, I don't want to quit that. But you can just click Relaunch Finder, and it will literally just flash the screen real quick and uh, relaunch it. So, I mean, those are some ways to optimize your Mac and to make your Mac more efficiently. Um, if for any of those who want to really know, I'm um, currently running, uh, I just upgraded to um, uh, 10.8.2. Uh, 10 so I'm running uh, Mountain Lion on here. So. But that's my Mac. Um, if you have any more questions, comment. Just go ahead and uh, just comment below. Hope this was helpful. You know, I just want to help people out there because you know, when I first got my Mac, I had no idea about uh, you know how to optimize or not. So, hope this uh, helped and uh, enjoy your day. See you guys.